Whether your college calls up buildings that house students, residence halls, or dorms, or just on-campus housing, finding where you will live your freshman year is important to your college success. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is Finding a Home on Campus. Please note that it is not uncommon for schools to start their housing sign-up process before their decision day. They encourage deadline for accepting your place as a student at that college. They open housing early to encourage you to accept their invitation and commit to their school. If you are still deciding between two or more schools and are waiting to decide which college will be the right fit for you, you may lose out on some options in on-campus housing. That's a small price to pay to be sure of your choice, but it is a factor in the timing of your decisions. Soon after you receive your admissions letter and you pay your deposit for that college, you will receive notification that you can select your on-campus housing. Do not lose the notification and put the opening date in your calendar. Then start your research into the school's housing opportunities and regulations. Are you required to live in on-campus housing as a freshman? If you are, what residence halls are open to you? What is the timeline for signing your contract? What are the costs? Are meal plans included in those costs or are they adjustable? What are the details of the housing contract? These will include behavior standards, payment processes and dates, and the guidelines for what is and isn't allowed on their property. Make sure you understand the contract and ask any questions you have before you sign. If you have reasons to request to live off campus, do you understand how to apply for an exception to policy that will allow such? As with any time you ask someone to grant you a personalized response to the status quo, be polite, transparent, and honest. Once you are comfortable with your understanding of the campus policies on housing, you need to make decisions about where you want to live. When selecting your residence hall, there are several points you need to consider. It is up to you to decide their order of importance in your decision. Location is one component of your decision. How far is the building from your classes, your place of work, on-campus study locations, and campus amenities. Location also applies to what room you would like to select in the building. Do you want to be close to the ground, near a stairwell, near a bathroom, are you allowed to bring a car? If so, where is parking located? Room location may not be a high priority to you, which is fine. Just think it through so you make sure you know what you want. The amenities available in the building make a difference. Does the building have air conditioning, suites versus rooms for two, the type of furniture available, bathroom setup, closet space, storage for equipment like your bike or other clunky belongings, what is the laundry setup, other halls, Offer designated study spaces, music rooms, or socialization spaces if that is important to you. Factor those amenities into your decision. You may notice a difference in the cost of housing based on the amenities available in different dorms on campus. Be sure to check the prices before you commit to any housing situation. It is popular for colleges to offer specialty themed floors or halls. This is generally based on academic major, but there could be other themes. The components of these halls may include classes being offered in the dorm, study or support groups, and resident advisors who can help with tutoring. If you are looking for academic support or like-minded thinkers, these themed residence halls are a great choice. One large component of on-campus housing is roommate selection. The first question is, how many roommates do you want to have? Room and suite configurations can vary widely. You need to research the campus policy for roommate selection. Some schools assign all roommates based on interest inventories that match your values, interests, and habits. If the school assigns roommates, research and understand the utilized process. Make sure you are sincere and transparent in any questionnaire used to make these matches. Other schools allow you to select your roommate. This can be your best friend, an acquaintance from your hometown, or the friend of a friend of a friend. One consideration is, do you want to increase the number of people you know? If so, perhaps working to keep your best friend on your floor, but not in your room, would allow you to have a touch point while bringing new people into your life. Your success in exposing yourself to growth opportunities in college will greatly enhance your education and post-college career. 
Once you are assigned or select your roommate, you can figure out the best way to cohabitate in a small space. This includes sharing the cost of everyday goods like a microwave or iron. Further, this may be finding a schedule to ensure each roommate gets time in the room by themselves. This private time can make a huge difference in comfort levels and mental health. You will also need to come to common understandings about room access for dates, friends, or family. These discussions need to be about more than just room decor. No matter what, you need to understand that there is no need to break the bank in decorating your dorm room. You don't need to buy new bedding, curtains, or anything else. You can create a perfectly comfortable decorated room without breaking the bank. If meal plans are included in your housing, carefully think through the options. Meal plans can be costly. Think through what meals you need and where you can access those meals. If you can eat in any campus meal facility, that can be a handy option if you have a late meeting or a class across campus from your dorm. Can you eat healthy breakfasts that can be prepared in your room or keep lunch products in your room so that you can reduce costs by not having to buy three meals a day? Can you buy a meal plan one term at a time and adjust your plan as you get into the rhythms of your freshman year? Make sure you complete all paperwork and pay the housing deposit as soon as possible to increase your room selection options. Your housing selection, especially during your freshman year, can make a significant difference in your satisfaction level with your schooling. Make sure you are thinking through what is important to you and what you can do to increase your satisfaction with your housing selection. Consider the location, amenities, cost, and contract stipulations as you make your housing selection. Know how roommate selection operates and be open to new people entering your life. Work to open yourself and your options through your housing and roommate selections. If you found any of this information useful, hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.